good morning students in previous video we discussed worksheet number 4 in this video let's discuss worksheet number 5 worksheet number 5 so write date and class work in this worksheet we are going to discuss about a rounding off rounding off to the nearest tens hundreds thousands and all okay so listen carefully children uh, first row money is round off to the nearest tens okay so nearest tens here we have 884 so 84 we will take because we are going to round off to the nearest tens 884 tell me children 84 will be between 80 90 to 80 and 90 what is the middle number 85 right you check it if 84 is before middle number then this will be the answer if the given number is after the middle number then right side number we should take so 84 comes before middle number or after middle number before middle number so 80 is the answer that means 880 okay see the next one 997 997 will be between 990 And thousand, okay. Tens round off, right? Nine hundred and ninety and thousand. Between nine hundred ninety and thousand, the middle number is nine hundred ninety five. Check it. Nine hundred ninety seven comes after middle number or before? After. If it is after, then thousand is the answer. And then twenty six thousand nine hundred and twenty five. So we have to take twenty five actually. But let us write whole number twenty six thousand nine hundred and twenty five will be between twenty six thousand nine hundred twenty twenty six thousand nine hundred thirty. Right? Twenty five will be between twenty and thirty. The middle number will be twenty six thousand nine hundred and twenty five. See, the given number is. the middle number itself right when the given number is middle number only we have to round off to the highest place that means 26930 okay now let's move to second roman round off to the nearest hundreds so hundreds place we should check now tell me children 948 between which two hundreds 948 will be 948 will be between 900 900 after Thousand. So between nine hundred and thousand, what is the middle number? Nine hundred fifty. Okay. Now you check. If the given number is, if the given number is less than middle number, then nine hundred is the answer. Suppose this number is more than middle number, then thousand is answer. Nine hundred forty-eight is less than nine fifty or more than nine fifty? Less than nine fifty. Then nine hundred is the answer. Okay. Now three hundred. Sorry, three thousand one hundred and sixty-four. Now three thousand one hundred and sixty-four will be between three thousand one hundred, three thousand two hundred. Because we are rounding off to the hundreds, right? Three thousand one hundred, three thousand two hundred. For one hundred and two hundred, what is the middle number? One hundred and fifty, right? Three thousand one hundred fifty. Now you check it. The given number will be after middle number or before middle number. Sixty four will be after middle number, right? Three thousand one hundred sixty four comes after three thousand one fifty. So right side number is the answer three thousand two hundred. And then next ninety three thousand seven hundred and fifty two. So ninety three thousand. Seven hundred and fifty-two will be between seven hundred, eight hundred. That means ninety-three thousand seven hundred, ninety-three thousand eight hundred. And then middle number will be for seven hundred and eight hundred. What is middle number? Seven hundred fifty, right? So ninety-three thousand seven fifty. Now you check it. The given number comes before middle or after middle? If it is before middle, this is the answer. If it is after middle, right side number. See fifty-two comes after fifty only. Yes, so the given number comes after middle number, so right side number is the answer, ninety three thousand eight hundred. Okay. Now, fourth Roman, sorry, third Roman, round off to the nearest thousands. 
so thousands means first we have to check the given number uh, lies between which two thousands like is it between one thousand two thousand or between four thousand five thousand first we have to identify that so four thousand seven hundred and eighteen will be between four thousand and its next number is five thousand right and tell me children what is the middle number for four thousand and five thousand four thousand five hundred is the middle number right so now you check it the given number comes after the middle number or before the middle number 4700 comes after 4500 only then right side number is the answer 5000 okay <coughs> now 51362 so 51000 we are rounding off to the thousands place right 51342 comes between 51000 52,000. Okay. 51,000. 52,000. So for 51,000 and 52,000, the middle number is 51,500. Okay. 51,500. Now you check it. This number comes before or after 342 comes before or after. It comes before, so that means fifty-one thousand is the answer. Now, this is six lakh twenty-six thousand sixteen. Okay, maybe you may get confusion if I write the whole number. So I'll write only. I will take only six thousand twelve. So tell me, children, in six thousand twelve comes between six thousand twelve comes between six thousand and seven thousand, right? For six thousand and seven thousand, what is the middle number? Six thousand five hundred. Now you check this six thousand twelve comes before six thousand five hundred or after six thousand five hundred? Before six thousand five hundred. So the answer is six thousand. That means sixty-two. That means six lakh twenty-six thousand. Okay. Estimate the following using general rule, children. Estimation is nothing but rounding off only. Okay. See here, if we do only for one one number, we call it rounding off. If you do the same procedure for two numbers or three numbers, after that, if you add or subtract, that is called estimation. It's not a new concept, children. It is also rounding off only. If see here, let's practice these problems now. Estimate the following using general rule. Here, six hundred ninety-two plus four thousand three hundred and forty-five. We have to identify to which rounding number the given number is very near. See, six hundred and ninety-two. To which rounding number six ninety-two is very near? Six ninety-two is very very near to seven hundred, right? One rounding number. That's it. So like that, four hundred four thousand three hundred forty-five. Three hundred forty-five. If you think three hundred forty-five is near to three hundred or four hundred, it is near to three hundred. So we say four thousand three forty-five is near to four thousand three hundred. It's very easy. Once you have to think the the given number is near to which rounding number. Okay. See, four thousand three forty-five is very near to. Four thousand three hundred. This rounding number, and as they have given plus between them, we have to add them. Zero zero five thousand. That's it. See if we see one thousand nine hundred twenty four minus eight hundred eighty three. Now think one thousand nine hundred. One thousand nine hundred twenty four is very near to which number? It is very near to nineteen hundred. One rounding number, right? See. Nineteen hundred and twenty-four is ne very near to nineteen hundred, right? That's it. Once you imagine, if you imagine to which rounding number the given number lies, we will get the answer. Eight hundred eighty-three. Eight hundred eighty-three is near to eight hundred or nine hundred. It is very near to nine hundred. That's it. You take, and between these two, we have minus sign. So after rounding them, you do subtraction. Nineteen hundred minus nine hundred is. Thousand is it clear? Once we have to think, okay, this number is near to that or this. Once you think and just give the answer. So fifty-eight 
into 267. Don't multiply them. 58 and 267. Don't multiply them directly. We have to estimate. So now you think 58. To which rounding number the 58 is very near? 58 is very near to 60. 60 is a rounding number, right? Like that. 267. 267 is very near to? See, it is a three digit number, no? Think in hundreds. 267 is very near to which 100, 200 or 300. It's very near to 300. Okay. Then between these two numbers, what is the operation we have? Multiplication. Just multiply them. 1, 2, 3, 0. So I am writing first. And 6, 3 is 18. So 18,000. Next question. 738 into 1060. So 738. Think as it is a three digit number, think 738 is very near to which rounding, which hundreds number. This is in between actually 700 and 800. And this 738 is near to 7 or 800. It is very near to 700. Like that, you think 1060. 1060 is in between 1000 and 1100. Is it near to 1000 or 1100? It is near to 1100. So, if you multiply these two, the sign between them is multiplication. Operation is multiplication. So, multiply them. It's very easy, right? If you have zeros in the multiplication, cancel them and write in the answer. The remaining part, 7 into 11, 77, you write it. That's it. Okay. The same thing we will apply here. Here in the fourth Roman, we applied between two numbers and we simplified the same thing here. We are applying for three three numbers. There is no difference. That's it. Seven third sorry five thirty nine. Five thirty nine is near to which rounding number? As it is a three digit number. Think in hundreds. Five thirty nine is in between five hundred and six hundred, and it is near to five hundred. Like the two forty three. 243 is in between 200 and 300. It is near to 200. 1675 is in between 1600 and 1700. It is near to 1700. And between these three numbers, which operation we have? Addition. Let's add 0, 0 and here 9, 14, 1, 200. Sorry, 2400. Last bit from this uh, Roman children. Here we have three numbers. First two numbers we should add. From that answer subtract the third number. It's very easy children. See the first number is 10,873. Once you think it is very near to which number. See 873 is very near to 900 right. That's what you write. That means 10,900 right. Now 7,559. So think. To which rounding number this number is very near 599. 599 is very near to 600 right. So where should write 7600. So between these two we have plus operation plus. So let them add. So 15, 1, 8, 1. 18,500. So now take the leftover number 12,606. Now you see. This number is very near to 606 is very near to a surrounding number 600, right? That means 12,600. Between these two we have minus, operation minus. So, let's subtract 0, 0 and 15 minus 6 is 9. And then 7 minus 2 is 5. 1 minus 1 is 0. So, 5,900. Children, I hope you understood. In today's class, I have explained you 7, 4th uh, and 5th worksheets. Okay. Complete the worksheets with pencil very neatly.